a full playing set of golf clubs, there are 13 long clubs and a putter. And if you're a novice, that can be a devastating array of confusion. But when you're an experienced player, you know that each of those 13 long clubs has a function. And if you look at the clubs of the 13, the longest club in the bag is the driver. In the middle of the bag is the six iron, and the shortest club at the bottom is the sand iron. So I think it's very plain to see that the angle of the swing changes because the club shaft is like the spoke of a wheel. The driver will swing on this very sort of flat, rounded arc, the six iron on a slightly more upright arc and plane, and the steepest arc and plane will be described by the wedge. And there's a reason for that. With the driver, the club maker wants to make you powerful. He gives you a 44 inch driver and a flat swing gives you 260 yards of distance. The six iron needs a bit more accuracy, flies about 160 yards on a medium swing plane. And then the wedge is swinging on a plane like the London Eye, like a Ferris wheel. It's a much more accurate movement. So that's why it's important to change clubs according to the shot that you're hitting. And if I'm going to teach you how to hit all the shots, it means that the explainer must be able to be adjusted to the different length of the club that you're simulating. So, let me introduce you to the power roller. The idea of the swing plane and the hoop have been around for about a hundred years. When I first saw the hoop, I realized that people didn't know how to adjust it. Uh, they didn't know what angle to set it. And even they did know what angle to set it, it wasn't multi-adjustable. The lovely thing about explainer is you can adjust it for any club and any physique. To do it, the power rollers, which are weighted, of course, the long power roller goes from driver to five iron simulation and the shorter roller goes from six iron simulation to sand iron simulation. So I've got all my golf clubs here from driver to sand iron and you can see that I can cover all the bases. The long roller teaches the driver down to the short roller teaching the wedge. It also helps when you're swinging, ladies will tend to use the longer roller and tall men will tend to use the shorter roller. But the important thing is, by using the roller properly, you simulate all three clubs. Now let me show you that when I step into explainer. I'm gonna start off with the driver swing. You can see here that explainer is set way above my sternum. So all I have to do is walk to the strut at the back and drop explainer down just two notches And now when I go batting to explainer at driver length, you can see indeed that the plane sensor, the dowel rod, is running across my upper sternum. So there I am with the driver at the flattest setting of the explainer for my physique at five foot nine. Now I'm going to simulate the, six iron, the five iron swing. I go to the bottom of the grip. You can see now that the explainer is too flat. So let's just go back up to two notches. Just explainer, very simple. Get the plane sensor. I'm holding the power roller grip at the bottom of the handle now, and you can see with a little bit of adjustment, my body angle is correct to the upper sternum. Now, to go to an even lower a, a club, sorry, a higher setting, I need the short roller to simulate between six iron and wedge. So let me show you the wedge setup. Here we go. Look how far behind me the explainer is. So simple stuff. Back to the strut. Up we go, a couple of notches. And there's me using the shortest club in the bag, the wedge, and the explainer is now on a much more upright plane. So, I hope you can see how simple it is to adjust. We can adjust explainer to your individual physique. It's no good to swing like Tiger Woods if you don't have Tiger Woods' physique. You must swing with the body that you have. So firstly, we accept explainer according to your body. But then, of course, you're using 13 long clubs, and hopefully I've shown you quite clearly that explainer can be adjusted to accommodate from the wedge swing right through to the long driver swing. The simple principle is the swing plane always goes from the ball to the upper sternum.